the primary oocyte becomes larger, as you see here. The follicular cells divide so that you end up with more than one layer of follicular cells. These follicular cells are now referred to as granulosa cells. So the blue cells that you see here around the primary oocyte are granulosa cells. So these are granulosa cells. There is a white region that is between these blue cells and the primary oocyte. And that region represents a zone. This zone is referred to as the zona pellucida. As the follicle continues to grow, it becomes more prominent. The basal lamina is surrounded by cells. These cells that are surrounding the follicle now form the theca of the follicle. So uh, these uh, cells here would be thecal cells, and there are two layers. There is the theca interna, which are glandular cells that will produce steroid hormone, and cells in the theca externa, which become more like regular fibroblasts, cells of the connective tissue. A particular feature that appears in the follicle as it gets bigger is you start to see fluid-filled space between the granulosa cells, and this fluid coalesces and becomes a larger fluid-filled chamber. When you see this fluid-filled chamber, as you see right over here in this follicle, this fluid-filled chamber is referred to as an antrum, and when you see an antrum, the follicle is then called a secondary follicle. So, so this is a mature or graphene follicle. This mature graphene follicle at this point is undergoing the process of ovulation because what has happened is that pressure has built up within the follicle and the wall has weakened. At some point the oocyte is extruded from the follicle and it goes into the peritoneal space that surrounds the ovary. So this right over here, this is the oocyte that is being extruded. Just prior to ovulation, primary oocyte undergoes the second division of meiosis and gives rise to the secondary oocyte. So this would be your secondary oocyte. It is surrounded by some of the cells that surrounded it within the follicle, and these cells are part of what is called the cumulus oophorus. So this is your secondary oocyte, which is being extruded from the mature follicle in association with the cumulus oophorus. The cells that immediately surround the secondary oocyte form what is called the corona radiata. 